they said 15 grand. Shh, 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 I'm not paying it. Hello, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, and they and they are episodes of the Lack of Focus podcast with me, Matt Bentley, and with me today, as usual, is Harvey Quinn. Harvey. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon to you as well. Uh, uh, way too much chit chat already. We've got a packed show. Get through it. <clears throat> so let's let's get down to the brass tacks. Mm. Um, starting off on a bit of a bum note, unfortunately. Now this is this could you know don't read too much into this. Whatever you do, you may know. <sighs> I was going through the analytics. I'm a numbers man. Mm. And uh, last week's episode, uh, we, for whatever reason, um, not putting any fingers, mm. there was a 200% drop off in downloads. Now, whether or not that is to do with the keynote among you, wouldn't. That, you, you, did, who hosted last week's episode? Was, well, you know. look, look, I, look, look, look. Who hosted? Yeah. That's too much of a loaded question, mm. right? Because. Um, well, no, if we're just going on, so, you know, I host the whole podcast and we're yeah, just yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, incremental yeah. numbers up and yeah, up and yeah, up and yeah, up and yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You do one episode, sure. like I said, 200% sure. decrease. I was uh, at school, I was yeah. only told it only goes up to 100. Do this you, one was 200. So, do, do you know why that is, though? Make of that what you will. People people fear change. They do fear They okay. fear change. But look, look, they'll come around eventually. I, 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 I think they would. But do you know what I mean? Look, we'll just look, look, <laughs> it's, we're always going to mix it up. Yeah. I don't want to rest on my laurels yeah. with this show. Yeah. And it is a show. Yeah. Um, Good to really push the boundary. Sometimes do a terrible episode. Sometimes just throw out like a really shit one. Yeah. Just throw it out there. Might do it today. Probably will. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know is the point until until we're sort of 50 minutes in. And at that point, we can't start again because we've done 50 minutes and they'll, That's they'll, they'll be like, I just people wonder, coming in. Because there are, there, there are always new listeners. Uh, mm. And a few new watches. Um, yeah. Obviously, given up on on being very angry about that now. Um, <sighs> new listeners, if you don't know, we don't edit this show, and it is a show. Mm. Um, someone actually said we were at a screening the other day, and someone said who was, she was actually quite nice. But I thought naturally, when I meet people, I think they're they're going to try and you know, come at you. C- correct. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa, hang on. whoa, whoa! I always have the fence up. Always. Listen, listen. I was raised in. I'm raised in London. I'm born and raised here. Um, yeah. if, if 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 it's not me, it's you. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so or the other way around. And she was saying something like uh, asking about the podcast, only natural, only human. Mm. And uh, I said, yeah, well, we, you know, we don't we don't edit the show, and it's just free talking, and it's sort of like it's live. And she's like, so it's sort of like a radio show that no one asked you to do. And I was like, you think that's you're insulting me, but that no, no that's it, it, that is exactly it is what this is. is. No is, one yeah. asked us to make this show. No one but, asked but, Jesus no, to go on. write the Bible. Good stuff. But he he probably penned it, didn't and he? And that is a comparable. <laughs> and it is a comparable. And <laughs> People were mad at Jesus for telling the truth. Yeah. Again, I mean? just proof that we don't edit the show because if we did edit the show, there's no way that would make it. There's in. no way. Uh, but you just listened to it. Yeah, You've just listened to it. It's right there. There it is. Um, some political news, just before I let you sort of rattle on about some yeah, stuff. Yeah, go, go on. Um, political news, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, if you're keen to the to the social hub of, of the world at the moment, uh, Roman Kemp um, has, he may or may not have been fired from Capital. You know, we won't, we, we can wildly speculate, but he yeah. is leaving. Yeah. Um, and can, can you, uh, Harvey, Guess who they haven't asked to replace him on that show? Well, there's two people that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I'll give you a clue. You're not one of them. No, I'm definitely not one of yeah. them. Because I, I checked my inbox. When I heard that he was leaving, I just refreshed my inbox for absolutely hours. Two days. Didn't, you? didn't, didn't hear a, a peep. Yeah. So, um, and that was after a very tedious email campaign yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of back and forth. They knew, they knew, they knew that I was in the wings. He um, got off. He found that he got like an office at Capital. Yeah. Turns out, Cap- turns out though, mm. um, the powers that be have decided that I'm not. I haven't got a face for radio. I have a face for television. That's a nightmare. So they, the thing is, they're like, we can't spend the money on you for radio yeah. because then we'll be literally cutting. We'll be, we'll be wasting fifty percent. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, and it is, and that is budget as well. That's, that's a money. Huge amount of the budget. Fifty percent. Fifty percent is massive. It's half of hundred <laughs> percent. Do you know what I mean? And that's the maximum. Hundred percent is the maximum. I just think it's a shame because obviously, and then the biggest stitch up, they got Jordan North to replace him from Radio One. Jo- I, I, I mean this seriously, right? Sorry. And then to replace Jordan North is Jamie Lang. But he's not done radio. No, no. Listen, listen. I like Jamie Lang. I don't, I, I don't mind Jordan North. I don't mind Jamie Lang. But my point is, I've been broadcasting now for over 12 weeks. Yeah. 
broadcasting. Now, obviously, if you're going to go down to the, if you're going to make me go to the fucking wire on this, and you look at both two CVs, one says Jamie Lang, one says Matt Bentley, one says radio experience, and one says nothing, mm. you're probably going to have to go like by the letter of the law, you're going to have to go with <coughs> the one with, with the risk. broadcasting <laughs> experience. That you can't <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> like Amanda Holden does the fucking. That's, it's, come on. That's how that's how any jobs work, any interviews or even auditions work. Is you the person that's best for it gets it. That's it. Well, it's especially, the law. especially in our industry. It's, it's the law, isn't it? Now, what I don't want us to fall into the category of as being sort of money actors being like, oh, I should be getting roles. But someone else said to me recently, someone else, imagine yeah. someone else, not me. Yeah, yeah. They go to me, you'd, you'd be very good as uh, Dexter in day one. One day, sorry. One day. Yeah. And I've it's, a, it it's a backhanded compliment because he, that, guy, that guy's a piece of shit. Um, what the what the, the 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 character or the actor? I'm sure the actor's a nice guy. Oh, um, the, the character. The, yeah, the character. I don't know anything the, about the, the movie. The character's a proper wanker. Okay. Um, and so naturally, I was like, "Well, thanks very much." Jeez. Little do they know, I'm a, I would. Uh, he's he, they're right. You dive head first into that role. Very well, very well. Yeah, I just walk up to set and be like, "Give me the rough sort of yeah. lines per day, and I'll sort of mimic the rest." I'll just go. For yeah. It. So Roman Kemp, it, wh why did he get fired? Nonsense or? <laughs> Again, let's be. Let's stay clear of that. Let's that's be so let's careful. Be, let's be careful because let's look, be really. I'm asking. I'm asking you the question. Was it ah, nonsense? No, I'm not. No, I'm not it saying wasn't. it was. I'm just saying. No, it wasn't. It wasn't nonsense. You'd be a very good lawyer because that's leading the the when you've asked the leading question. The jury. Why weren't you at there? Why didn't you go to the, the party at Ed's clock? Now they're already thinking you're going there, slashing the tires and burning them off the bridge. Exactly. Just because you've asked why. So was he nonsense? No, he wasn't. Great. Um, Great. I think he's going to go on to. He's going to use his face for TV for TV. Fine. Well, his his dad was on the telly. Yeah, people talk about that uh, level of nepotism. It's not really. It's not because I think, and I mean this in a, I mean it in a nice way. Yeah. He was off. He was. He, 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 I mean, he, look. He was in Spando Ballet. Daddy can get you the 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 meeting. Daddy can't get you the job. Daddy definitely can't get you the second, third, fourth, fifth job. You got to be okay at the end. And Roman yeah. Kemp is, although everyone on Capital. I don't know my voice levels here. They're probably but, fine. You know, they all sort of talk like that. They go, hey, welcome back to... They're just shouting the whole time. What, like in Alpha Sh Papa when they've got those... Danny yes, Sinclair. exactly that. It's like, hello, this yeah. is a bunch of Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> like, what? So annoying. Shut up. Let's just have some nice, civilised conversation. Yeah. Anyway, that was my sort of uh, intro. Good intro. Um, sort of had a pop at you, had Good a pop at, at the industry as a whole. Nice. Uh, and asked some really important questions about why I'm not on national radio. Self, not self so contained. worried about you, obviously. I mean, you'll make it. I'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, you got that Burmese thing going. I'll be all you'll right. You'll be fine. I'll be all right. You'll be fine. I've got. I mean, I I say that I did get let go of a job yet last week. Yeah. So t today was my first day of unemployment. Bit, you had a bit of anxious day, didn't you? I did because I, I need a job. I think. Um, I think I'm probably going to get a job in like a bakery or something. I think you. Well, bakery something needs to like get up that. really early, bro. Yeah, but I no, but then I finished by three. Do you Dude, know I think mean? I'd rather I, that. I, I think you'd like, be working a bakery. I think you're done by fucking one, mate. Maybe. When was yeah. the last time you went into bakery and bought like a croissant at, actually, at I tried, 2.30 in the afternoon? I tried grim. that. Actually, last week, I went into the bakery near me. It was about 2.30 and they were like, we've, we've not got anything. Yeah. And I was like, well, well like, also, you live, in, you live in an incredibly vibey part of town where people will, will go and spend four quid on a, a croissant. 4.50. Was it probably. Dusty Knuckle? It was, yeah, yeah. And they said, no, I'm they not said, surprised. said, we haven't got anything. And I was like, well, can, well can, have you got nothing? I actually won't hear a bad word against Dusty Knuckle. No, no, that's the place I'd yeah. love to work, yeah, mate. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to work. You'd fit in there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's also a guy called Harvey that works there. Well, get rid of him. Get rid of him. And you're in that weird niche of sort of like heavily tattooed, look super intimidating, but friendly. Yeah. Although, which is, I think, everyone who works in there. It's true. That's it. Although, I, if I shaved my head, I reckon I'd look like a bit of a nutter. Mate, you'd look weird, bro. I know. Like no, 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 no. Actually, I take it back. I don't think you'd look weird. I look good. I think but what you'd need to do if you shave... Most people, when they shave their head, need to get a tan and they need to lose weight. You... Get really pale and odd. No, 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 no. You would need to gain some weight, mm. fill out your face a little bit... Mm. And then also just whack on a tan. Whack Because a tan, tan does everything, mate. It does Ooh, everything. Just get a tan. I'm so pale at the moment. I know, bro. me too. I'm, I, like, I'm looking like... We've, no, you, we've got I, a I actually camera think monitor. I can see the monitor this week. And this week, genuinely, I think I look completely just shot out by these. Like, I yeah, mean, washed out. Yeah. Milky, sort of vampiric. But look, do you know what? <sighs> we, are the, we are who we are. Why? Yeah, we are, we are who we are, Harvey. Um, so to, how how you been battling through that anxiety of not having a job? Um, talk, talk to me about that. Well, I mean, in my head, I, it, so I, so I have been completely freelance before, as we know, mm. as just like living as an actor and fucking that. But I'm back in that situation now, which is great. 
and I've got a bit of savings to sort of tide me over. Yeah. But I'm now thinking, like, what do I fucking do? Like, I'm sitting at home all day today, and like, I need to be productive to do something. Yeah. Feeling a bit like a bit of a waster. Yeah. Um, not that, like, <laughs> not that I worked really hard no. in that day job I had. Uh, sorry if you're watching. They're not watching. Uh, but they, I mean, you let me go, so you know, so you sort of must have known. Yeah. Uh, Don't get pinned down on that. I can't. I probably shouldn't because you know I technically uh, 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 I'm on gardening leave. Um, I'm not gardening. Um, but yeah, I think I think I'm looking at stuff like now. Like I, like I did work in events before. Don't go back to that, mate. Well, I don't think I could do it anymore just because it's like long. It's like working till like four in the morning. Yeah. And the thing that winds me up, actually, and I want to talk about this is current events. Yeah. Uh, I see a lot of people that I follow uh, on Instagram. You know, we follow like actors and stuff that are, that we know that are a bit more successful than us. Yes. Um, and they're all because, you know, it was like London, you know, it was like London Fashion Week and then it was Milan Fashion Week. Yeah. So all these guys are like floating around. I said, guys, people I know. Like Daisy, Edgar, Daisy Edgar Wright. Yeah, yeah Desi Air Jones. Whatever. Yeah, and like I've got friends at, at, at all these events and stuff, and it just reminded me, like, because I've worked at those events. Well, this thing right? is at the moment. I'm, I I couldn't. I know that if I were to work them, I would yeah. I would be working for Phil Dunster. Now, yeah, Phil is the sweetest man in the world. Yeah, but I know that he and like Asa Butterfield. I saw them at a yeah, photo yeah, together, yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, I'd fit in right where. I don't think want to be on the other side. Of my that. ego could let me hold the share of champagne, but it says something about me. To be well, honest with you, well, it does say something about me. But may, may, maybe for, for me, I, for me, it's definitely that. But it's also um, and they'll all be so nice when they see you. They will, of course. My boy, how are you? Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. But at the end of the day, they fuck off and go and have a cigarette, and you fuck off to the kitchen to get more drinks. And I, yeah, I that's I, it. I don't think I. Yeah. Well, I, well, it's not so much that. It's just that I know how. Like having worked at those sort of like events as a waiter i know how vacuous those events are yeah they are and it's great. like why are you coming to this this is really uncool yeah, yeah it's yeah. very uncool going to those events it's like, very very uncool I, I get it if it's a movie premiere and you're in it as we discussed even if it's a movie premiere it's kind of a bit or if it's like the theater awards or yeah. something like that or whatever but when it's like a louis vuitton fashion week and you've got to turn why why Dude, it's I full, mean, it's I, full I, of shit munches my uncle is a um he's a he's a artist called russell young yeah and he had a, a launch of his new paintings in in london he's from la <clears throat> well lives in la and i went to the event and it was hosted by the team you used to work for as in yeah, 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 yeah and i i just echo those thoughts as exactly it's not like i had a bad time there sure but like i i, I left just be other than seeing him and his and his fiance yeah i didn't know what else i'm trying to think why on earth would I have gone to it if I had no connection? If you had, to yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were an influencer, why on yeah. earth? Like, even if if you're into art and you love art and whatever, it's still quite a particular type of. Yeah. I don't know, mate. And I think to just go to like an arbitrary, like sponsored by E E. For sure, yeah. Oh, also, I, I, and also, and also, Fashion Week. But I think I feel keep your, the ball in the air. Do you not feel like that? There'll be that pressure because you've got to keep your face out. So, so I, constantly. so, so I don't know en enough about it. I think we've talked about it before, but I, I know that if I had like a publicist or whatever, if I was like at that point in my career, yeah. maybe my agent and publicist would be, would be like, you have to go to this event. You do, man. You have to. Uh, another one of my friends, his girlfriend's like semi uh, fa famous and she got paid to go to an event. Like, okay, very different. Quite a few thousand pounds. Fine. Um, but, very different. But, I think with Fashion Week and stuff like that, I think number one, the fashion industry is the they're full of cunts. Yes, they are. And it's like the most commoditized. It's not even art anymore. It's just for, it's they're literally set like high fashion is literally selling to rich people. You can't go into like a, like a Chanel store and get anything for less than like a grand. Yeah. Who's buying it? It's yeah. just rich. Like, and it's for like they're like they're like, and it's and it's meant to. It just makes people with no money feel bad. Surely. Yeah. Like I just don't. Like, I don't support it. Yeah. So like I, well, going you, to those events is just. This echoes the. Have you heard the idea of like the Kardashians are starting to die out because not they're not not the clang of them. I don't. Yeah. God, no, I don't know about the health. Um, I hope, <laughs> Hopefully, hope not. You know, take my eyes, but not the Kardashians. Yeah. Um, the, I can't um, keep up with them. I actually have nothing. To, I <laughs> funny. Yeah, you see that. that yeah, was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, good. You should be on the radio. I know I should be. I don't you know what. Should be on the radio. I've with stuff like sent that. so <laughs> many emails. <laughs> I don't know how many more emails I need to send. I think I think sixty is my limit before oh, I go block. Double, double that. Double that. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Um, yeah, go on. They're saying that, you know how Cribs and MTV used to yeah. uh, shine a little keyhole on the rich and famous. And yeah. it's amazing. And you got to see the inside Cribs, of it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now there's just rich people on Instagram. I actually don't begrudge it. If you had a sick house, you want to pop it off and that's your vibe, then do Fine. it. I don't, I don't give a fuck, man. Do you. Um, 
but the Kardashians showing their wealth was the show. And now yeah. you can get that anywhere. So it's yeah. not as appealing. It's true. And, you can't um, get it literally. I mean, it's, and it's saturated. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just like loads of people like showing their watches on Instagram. Like, I find the whole thing grotesque. Uh, I think showing your wealth is like oh, it's one of the vile. Words. You know what? I can't understand matey boy stopping in the street. You know, so I actually want to do an idea. This is with it, just to get off topic. So it's really quickly. Yeah. I want us to go down to Carnaby Street with a camera and a film crew and point at me and say, do you recognize who this is? Because I have a theory that although I have a following on TikTok, yeah. I actually genuinely think it's all fake. I think TikTok inflate the numbers. Yeah. And so I have 107 or 1,000. Yeah. I think it's probably more like 10. And I think they inflate the numbers. I don't think, think. I'm sure of it. And I think it's it, bots or something. It bots, and I think it works in the favor of the app to, to, to have these crazy numbers because I don't, I don't get, not that I should be stopped all the time, but I don't. Yeah. It only, it has, Do you get analytics with it though? Does it show you? Yeah, where, it does. Is it, it mostly does. the UK? No, Australia. Um, yes, I mean, you're not, you're not Canada. walking around Sydney. I'm not, yeah, it's a good point. But what was I saying about, um, oh yeah, the guys who get stopped in the street and they go, um, can you tell me how much you earn? And they just tell them. Yeah, I, that's the setup. What? No, it's bro. Honestly, it's not. And I don't understand. But even if it is, why on earth would you want to tell people how much your outfit costs? And listen, big boy, if you're rich, you're trying to keep that quiet. Yeah, because I don't want people asking me for things. If you're really wealthy, my man, my man, keep that to yourself. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, you know, money talks, wealth whispers, and I can't understand. It, it winds me up so much, these people fucking... I just find it like I, 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 yeah, I, I like do, I like doing showy to an, to to an extent. I'm not gonna lie. I do I do like so I dress up and I, I I sometimes treat myself to a nice pair of whatever. Yeah. But that element of it is just nonsense to me. I it makes no sense. Yeah, but there's a difference between wanting to dress and nicely, and look nice and dressing with money. <laughs> I know. Do you know what I mean? Like dripping yourself just in like Just walking brands. into a thing and being like, right, that mannequin on me. Off I go. So yeah. Like, so yeah. So that I've been mostly wound up by the fashion weeks. Do you know what? Maybe it's the same way. You know when you get like on, on a film set on a TV show and they go, right, we got no money for this shot. Yeah. How are we going to cheat it? Yeah. How are we going to make it work? What's the solution? Let's find it. And then everyone wraps in. You get around the table. It's like NASA trying to get them, trying to get Tom Hanks back. And you're like, sure, Fuck, yeah. yeah, let's, we can cut that corner there and cheat the shot there. And we, you know, I yeah, can call in a favor. And it's an amazing experience to be a part of. Yeah. And then you go to Marvel and they go, how are we going to do it? It's like, just pay 400 million for it. And yeah. Like, right. Moving on, moving on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah moving yeah. on. To that. And that's lunch. <laughs> and you're like, Fuck me. If you have all the There's money no in the creativity. world, no, you don't have to like learn how to dress. You just yeah. like, go in there, go whack that on me and off I go. That's... Whereas if you've got no money at a certain point in your life, in your formative years, I would say up to like 40 if you've got no yeah. money, which is probably correct. You probably should have no real money. Until you, yeah, th late 30s, Late 40s, 30s. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be kicking right into my mid 40s here. But I'll, I'll get rich. Very much I'll right. get bare rich as an actor. Yeah. I think I'm 48 years old. Yeah. I think I'm going to be- Because I'm not going to give up. No, I'm not. That's, I was actually saying yeah. to my friend recently, I think that's my superpower. So yeah, just I'm not. not going to stop. <laughs> well, I don't really want to do anything else. I think also you, you're a great example of this, mate, because you've, you've helped me so much in my life because I, I really needed someone proper. I now have two more mates who are in the army, which help. Yeah. But you have been on the other side of that coin. Yeah. I was going to make this a podcast originally when I first came to the podcast. This is four or five years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making a podcast called The Grass is Green and I realized it had limited legs about talking about comparative jobs and it sure, would have been yeah. shit, to be honest with you. But you've seen the other side of the coin. And it's yeah. Shit. Well, this is the thing, and I remember saying this to you before. Like, I know what what a day job, working just for stability. Mm. I know what that entails, and like, I mean, you can you can find it's tolerable. That's the thing. It's really really tolerable, and most people do it. Most people work a job that they don't necessarily love, but they can tolerate it because it gives them stable income and it allows them to do things on the weekend. Mm. The flip side of that is your life just bleeds past very quickly because you're literally waiting for the weekend, Monday to Friday, it just blurs. Every week's the same, every week's the same, every week's the same, every week's the same. And then before you know it, you blink and it's like eight years have gone by and you're like, fuck me. Yeah. But then when I when I when I quit my job to to pursue acting, and it was yeah, a pursuit of something as opposed to actually doing it, because the first like two or three <coughs> years, dude, I I, I mean yeah, I was yeah. working for free on short films and I was like studying and um, so it's a pursuit. Even now, it's a fucking pursuit. Do you know what I mean? Because it's very quiet at the moment. Um, but that, the, the two years of like struggling and sort of like being like, what the fuck am I doing? Or longer, 
just feels like an eternity because even though I was a bit more stressed out about like, how am I going to afford stuff? Every day I'd wake up and be like, okay, what am I doing? Like, what am I going to do? Okay. And maybe I go meet a friend for a coffee, just have a little chat. Or maybe I'll go, um, and I'll do a class, do a little drop in class or like little bits and pieces here and there, or like work a shift, do it like an odd shift here, like, or there just to make a bit of money or like, or, or I'd, I'd like, like go to like a cafe and write or whatever. But because it was every day was varied and I was like, what am I fuck, what the fuck am I doing? And it was way more stressful. It was way better. It was yeah. way better. And I'd never, ever really necessarily want to give that up. And also it's like the pursuit of something that I actually love. And it's like, I really like, I love this and I love, I love acting and I love performance. And like, that's what I'm, that's what I'm good at. That's what I want to do. So it's like, I don't want to, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even physically be able to give it up now. I don't yeah. think I'd ever, ever be able to be like, okay, done. Back to, I, it, it would, it would be impossible. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think the idea of, um, in my mind, I've never had, I never had a plan B. And yeah. anyone who knows me from when I was 12, 13 years old, I was like, well, this is, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And this is how I'm going to do it, and um, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. This is this is what it's going to be. Now, we, I mean, y you need to you need a level of delusion, but you also do need a level sure. of, of being fucking good. And You've got to be good. It's yeah. it's so hard to know if you are actually good or just delusional. It takes years to figure that out, though. I but, think uh, to really figure it out to be like, I know I'm good. I'm confident in the fact that I'm very good. I can be shit, but I know I'm very good on the whole. Yeah, and now. I'm not looking for validation and people telling me I'm good. I am a little bit, yeah. but it, I know I'm now I know, okay, I know I'm good. Get rid of that part. That's five years of like experimentation and like experience. Yeah. Got that out of the way. Now I know, okay, I know I'm a good actor. Now it's just when I get to set, it's like, okay, let's, let's figure out a choice here. Let's do it. And it could be wrong, but I know that I know in the back of my mind that I'm good at it. Yeah. So it's like, I don't have to worry about like the first five years is just like I need people to be like that was a really good performance so that is actually the one thing that I always I do slag off drama school and quite rarely because it is it's a pretty toxic place um, and it's not that helpful but what it does do is get rid of that yeah which is because if you're good at drama school then you'll find out because eventually yeah. even if they think you're a cunt or I exhibit A uh, <laughs> eventually someone will go to like begrudgingly and be like yeah I mean you're fucking good like, yeah if you if, they always go like <clears throat> When I got when I got kicked out of my first drama school, they uh, they sat me down. It's the first time in my life. I was 18 at the time. I went there way too young. They sat me down, and it was the first time. And it was the head of the school, a woman called Norna Shepherd, and she goes, um, she goes, um, you know, you, uh, you, it's time. You, this isn't for you. This is, you know, you're too young. Was it? What was? What was it? Was it attendance? No, 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 no. Oh, I hadn't gone in for a little bit, but I hated the rest of the people, and I didn't hate them. I didn't get them. I didn't understand oh. the people and thing. I thought I was River Phoenix. I thought I was James oh, fucking Dean. Yeah. And I was like, why on earth do we need to do these breath classes? Why on earth oh, are right, we doing okay. all this stuff? I don't get it. Fine. <clears throat> and up until that point in my life, I always got told, um, you're being badly behaved. You're doing this. You're doing this. But my God, are you good? You're being bad. You're doing it. But you're a genius. She just goes, you're being a cunt. You need to fuck yeah. off. Yeah, I was you're, like, you're, you're now, tell me, now tell me I'm a genius. She goes, nah, just, you know, you're just, done. just stop you pop. Yeah. No hard feelings. Fine. But you know, it's yeah, it's time. And I got humbled. Yeah. I heard then not following up and being like, and also you're a genius. You never came. And I was like, right. And that's good. It, it it was helpful. But then eventually you 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 pick up your ego again and you learn. But you need to get sure. you need to get fucking pummeled. You need yeah. these kids need to get fucked up by someone. <laughs> I got I got I got fucked up. At like 18, oh, 21, 26, I got lit up. I got lit up. I, I, I got think. dropped by the biggest agent in the fucking world. <laughs> I got fucking my movie tanked. Like yeah, I yeah. got lit up. Yeah, I've been I've been lit up. It is what times. it is. That's the that's that's like, dude, I've like I've had like parts cut. We've talked like I've had like uh, parts you got cut a bad, you got a hard bargain recently. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I've been. I've, talk I've about had, like stuff scaled what down. Were, what was it? Yeah, about? yeah, I was in I was in the kitchen um for Channel Four Netflix um. A small part and it, if any part was going to get cut it was that and uh but it was uh daniel kaluuya wrote it and co-directed it uh my scene was at the beginning of the movie with who with who with who uh, dan kaluuya no kano oh i kano 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 my kano. favorite bloke. kane robertson fucking love kano um but yeah um I, I haven't watched the movie yet i will watch it because it's meant to be pretty pretty good drama <laughs> throw um, the tv out the window <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, still a bit sore <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I I was in that film. It was only like two days of filming. My scene is basically playing like a Zuckerberg-esque character. Yeah. 
like the head of this business that that Kano works for. Um, and mate, I, I it was a really good scene, which I was really annoyed about. And when I did, I when I was filming it, it was obviously COVID, um, yeah, all that stuff, and like my, everyone was wearing masks, so I didn't know that Dan was. I'm gonna call him Dan. For easy, as, easy, as you should, as you should. Um, I didn't know he was on set until like, I'd done two takes of my scene, and then he like pulled his mask down. And was like, "Yeah, good job, bro. Um, we're just we're gonna go again." That's violation. Like, That's fucking violation. Oh, all right, bloody hell. Okay, there he is. And then I uh, did the scene again. You know and what? He was like, "Yeah, really good." And it, everyone was really nice on that set. Dan Kluwer, but I bet he doesn't go to those shit muncher events. I bet he doesn't. I mean, he bet goes. Dan he only Kluwer goes to doesn't go to that. I reckon he goes to things he's part of or like yeah. a close friends invite to. Yeah. But no way is, is a publicist like, yeah. telling him to go to some random event yeah. and Dan Clue is rocking up. Not a chance. I, well, I've obviously following him on social media and on his social media, he, the, the stuff that he does go to is like, just like his mates yeah. shows and stuff like yeah. that and it's, because it looks cool I think there's a responsibility once you're bare famous if you're Dan Kluwer yeah. and your presence can actually get press to an event of your other mate that wouldn't have shit he does a lot of fucking then that is that's he, a thing he, I know he does you a should lot put, of, you should bring the lift back down yeah he handing the ladder back down right that, yeah, or he, the lift or the lift mine yeah, yeah. was just why is, yeah. well because the, handing the ladder back down is a uh, is like a is the known is that the known phrase? Yeah. Have I shifted it to lift? I kind of like to send the lift back down there. As I well. like it because also uh, ostracized Americans who will insist on them becoming elevators. Elevator, yeah. Elevators also go down. So how's that work? You got stuck on one recently, didn't you? Oh, did I get stuck on a lift? I was in Manchester. I was, oh, so I went to the screening of this short. Yes, film. yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. We, you haven't really spoken. Yeah, about it was really, that. really good. It was, um, it was nice. Oh, oh, and just to cap off the end of that story. Yo, got yeah. cut from the movie. You did get cut from the movie. Got cut from the movie, but that's what it is. I've been cut from movies. Yeah, look, it happens. I've been cut some new movies that I thought. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, so went to the screening of this film. It was really, really, it was really nice. Mm. There's not that much to say. I went up to Manchester for the day, and back to that little validation thing. It was nice having total strangers. The director then gave me a voice note recently, actually, who kind of said, "Like, um, this is their quote." Yeah. Why, why isn't this guy massive? Hey. And he said, "He will be." Yeah, yeah. And that was really, really nice because. There's two types of, of compliment. People who you kind of rate saying it and people who are just saying it nice. Both are nice. Mm. But when it's someone who you in, you think is good. I agree, yeah. Who doesn't really have skin in the game to like try and talk you up. There's no reason for them to... like you, yeah. your, your working relationship is done for now. You might do another one, but whatever. Mm. It was nice. Quality. So that was um, that was a good little little jaunt, right? Um, so look, I think we're about the halfway mark now. I think that is sort of a f- end of officially the end of the interest. I would say that's end of interest. In- I think that's words on my tool. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the interest. Segmente. Segment. What's what's Seg- the next segment, Matt? Segramento, Segramento. I've got a little. Um, we're we're um, we're still working on the jingle. My uh, my friends who are in bands have a record to release. Uh, what? Take our music off TikTok. We're with Universal. What? But uh, this is. But wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, just to be clear, yeah. he's got the chance to be uh, to write a jingle for the biggest show on, the, on earth. Tell me about it. He's going to be kicking himself at well, one point. Probably already is. Do you know what? Right. Even though our numbers, you know, as I said, that critically, this is the best show on earth. Definitely. Critically. Yeah. If you're going to go by metrics of numbers, don't then... go by the numbers. But the point is, I had messages, literally, sure you have, on from our viewers, on our listeners, yeah, 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 saying, "Where the fuck is the podcast?" They're demanding it. I was They're like, well, "Monday, just They're chill out." Pitchforks. But do you know what I mean? It's the people that, you know, I, I sent you the band Idols recently. You did. Yeah, good band. But Joe Talbot, the singer, he said in he's an in an interview, he said he was like we've played so many shows where it was like four people in the room yeah and he was like when you've got those four people in the room just go fucking go for it yeah because those four people are going to be there when you're fucking massive and they're important oh yeah they're original fans you guys are that four people in the room because it is you know but you understand that this is going to be massive yeah i simultaneously feel nothing for them it, yeah, com- that's correct. important. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, Don't get too familiar. No, 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 no. I barely like it. Don't get in touch. So you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use let the official. Harvey, let Harvey channels. make up his his little you know questions. Exactly. No need to actually send them in no. <laughs> because you have been sending them in. He is getting snowed under. I am getting snowed under. <laughs> he doesn't I, yeah, handle I I, stress very well. I, in fact, I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of emails and letters <laughs> in, and I've just been like, well, they're all rubbish. <laughs> yeah, and I've just written I think my something own way better than this. Yeah, come on, mate. And he does. And I do. And it's um, got correct spelling as well. So but you know, occasionally pick it up. Are real. That's why I have to ask. Is that real? Um, okay, so we've got a new segment, and it's segment. called Rated. Rated. Over or under. Okay. Now these films uh, are. Known films, and I want you to tell me. It doesn't need to be quick fire. We can discuss them if you want to. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. They can't just be rated. You can't just be like, yeah, they're fine. You have to be overrated or they're underrated. Fine. Ready? And off we go. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. 
Overrated. Correct. It is a fuck. But, uh, by but, the way, I will be. This is a test also. Should, I know, I know. <laughs> no, but I'm going to elaborate a little bit. I know, of course you it should, is. You should elaborate. Of course it is. Tell me why. It's a terrible, no, terrible, I, terrible no, movie. I'm one, I'll tell you why. It's, it is overrated because people think it's the yeah, next Yeah, get me some of that coffee. Jesus. That yeah, coffee yeah. is absolute uh, rocket fuel. I'm loving that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, you have it. No, what, what, were you opening it because you no, wanted no, some? No, 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 I'm going to I'm gonna have some as well. Yeah, yeah. Just a little shot, a little espresso. Yeah, and they aren't. Um, yeah, um, I, no. So, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, I actually think it's a good movie. Right, you're wrong, but okay. Um, you haven't watched it? I have watched it. All of it? Yeah. You I watched it, all of I watched it, it recently, yeah. You didn't like it? I hated it. You don't like Jim Carrey, though? I don't like Jim Carrey. Do you like Kate Winslet? Yeah, I love Jim I love Kate Winslet. I love Kate Winslet. I think it's a good, I think it's a good movie that's just, everyone just talks about too much. Because I think when people watched it, it came out, what, like 2007? Yeah, it was pretty groundbreaking. P people were like quite that. young, and did you, like at that point in my life, yeah. I'd had like an, a, a relationship that it ended badly that I was like, I wish I could just delete that memory from my mind. So it resonated with me. I do think it's a good movie, it's Michael Gondry, but it's way overrated because people have this nostalgic, like it's such a good movie. I think that's why I went overrated. thinking I hated it because I, I, I'd heard it was just like, oh my God, you haven't seen it. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Okay, next one. Mission Impossible 2. Underrated. Yep. Cool. John Woo, yep. long hair, yep. rock climbing scene. Yep. He does that weird flip that makes no sense it, as a rock climber. You would never you ever must get so cross Jesus that. pose yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, Why? Yeah, What's yeah. the point? Yeah, but Tom actually did it. it well. Tom did that. No, <laughs> he he was rock climbing, but he didn't free Harvey, solo. Harvey, 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 what's the thing we say on this show? Print the myth. He did so that. So when yeah, I ask you now, yeah, yeah, yeah. he did it, didn't he? You was rock climbing. In real life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick stuff. In his sneakers. That yeah. is sick. Dumb and Dumber. <clears throat> Underrated. Underrated. It's such a good movie. Yeah, and, it and, and I know that it's got yeah. really well reviewed and it, everyone thinks it's very funny, but you don't understand how genius that movie yeah, is. Yeah, I, I really think if you were to strip that part down to its bare parts, you could not reassemble it in a funnier way than how they've done it. I mean, it's just truly, truly. It's so good. One of the funniest movies in the world. Of yeah, I think, I think <clears throat> it's one of Jim Carrey's best movies. Also, The Cable Guy as well. I haven't seen The Cable Guy. It, it got really, it was really, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, do ben be careful. Stiller. That's not on the list though. So do be careful. It's not on the list. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Goodfellas. It's a tough one. That's a fucking tough one. A tough one, one for over Because it is overrated. Yes. Because it's, it's not, I don't believe any movie is 10 out of 10, but everyone says that that movie is 10 out of 10. It's not. It is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Can I tell you why it's, why it's not a perfect movie? Go on. There is absolutely no way that, I mean, God rest his soul. I mean, what he seemed like a really fucking cool dude and a fantastic actor. Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. I mean, genuinely, what one of the greats. Yeah. There's no way that man is a 24 year old man in the opening scene. No, of oh God, no. That is all over the gaff. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, people that, did look older though. Not like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Back to the Future. Overrated. Um. I do think Michael. I Cox love it. Is incredible. I love it, but unless, uh, unfortunately, the third one makes it overrated yeah. the, it is great but it's overrated it is good but that's yeah, because it's it makes it so movie. famous everyone thinks that, yeah. that it's a genius and it and is it's, good it's a good it's, movie yeah. it's a really really good it's movie it's a good fun movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas underrated yeah completely underrated it's such a good movie yeah It's yeah. but it, but I so I read the book after seeing the movie and I was like oh right this is this. it's perfect it's a perfect book oh is it so I've never read it yeah the book the way because obviously Hunter S. Thompson, the way he writes, this weird, like, manic, like, insane, uh, like... Get out of my way, that's Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah, just sort of, like, he writes how he, who he, who he was. Like, it, it, it's gonzo journalism, quite literally. He invented the term gonzo journalism. The reason it was gonzo is because, you know gonzo and the Muppets? Yeah. What is he? I... Can't, no one knows. <laughs> he's not, he's not anything. He's got a weird curve. He's gonzo. He's yeah, a gonzo. He's gonzo. <laughs> so that's what gonzo journalism is. It's Hunter S. Thompson sort of invented it. But... Yeah, what is it? But it's so it's such a perfect movie adaptation, and obviously Johnny Depp was friends with Hunter. Yeah, so he like can mimic him perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it's a really fucking good movie. That's a, and and also Benicio del Toro. Yeah, is such a like a mental case in that movie that he didn't work for years after that because people really? were like he's he's a maniac. Yeah, amazing. Um, Fast and Furious, underrated. Under the first one. No, the franchise. Oh, oh, overrated. Yeah. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, E.T. E.T. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tricky one. I'm telling you, I'm good at this. Give me on Radio 1. Fuck, yeah, get him on Radio 1. Not as a producer. Not as a producer. As the front camera face facing. of it. Camera facing. And they do put it on camera. They do nowadays. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking weird. No, fuck me. Um, E.T., over or underrated? Ooh. 
I, it's going to have to be overrated, isn't it? Because it's like... Yeah, okay. Because it's E.T. Yeah. It's like Jaws. Jaws is overrated. Jaws is a great movie. Jaws is on the list. Okay, well, go on. Uh, Jurassic Park. Oh, underrated. Underrated. It's genius. It's genius. It's simply genius. Just because the, of Jeff the, Goldblum. The, the, the animatronics and make Sam, that film underrated. Sam Neill yeah. is, the best, is one of the best actors of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he is. I think. He auditioned for Bond. He screen tested for Bond. As an American? He's Australian. Oh, fair play. Yeah, but you know and, he, and he did I'll a let, good I'll screen. I'll let the Aussies get away with yeah. pretty much anything. George Lazenby was Bond. He was Aussie. For a brief time. Okay, yeah, sure. I've actually made, this list is really, really, really long. Good. So I've got to pick out. <laughs> I love it. Good. Let's lean into it. Good. Good. Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Oh, underrated. It's underrated. a perfect movie. Yeah. That's as perfect a movie as it can get. Uh, Jaws, you just said. Overrated. It's overrated. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. overrated. It's a shark. That, it's a shark. It's about a shark, and they, re- and, and they were like, right, how are we going to film underwater? We can't. All right, well, we'll just show like a, a boy blobbing one. That's genius, actually. Fuck yeah, it. it's very good, actually. They, made, they, they didn't show the shark until 48 minutes into that movie. I know, and it's pretty scary even now. Come the fuck on. Imagine. Smile, you son of a bitch. Imagine okay, yeah, it's this, underrated. What's this, what's this film about? About a massive shark? When are we going to see the shark? Uh, later. How yeah. much later? Much and later. Much, much <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't fast forward it either because VHS <laughs> takes ages. Almost at the end, you'll see. The Almost shot. at the end, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Matrix, underrated, overrated. No way, bro. Yeah, that's... it's such a good movie. The first one, the the, the rest of them they can they can get fucked. I don't want to see it. Get them out of my sight. I think I need but to that watch first, the first movie. one again, dude. Maybe. That first yeah, movie is unbelievably good, and they okay. should have just left it there. Dracula, it was never. They could never have left it there, though, could they? They should have left it there. It, it, it dude, that movie is is so exceptionally good it's clean isn't it it's unbelievable it's, it was made in 1999 and it looks cutting edge now yeah it's so good and the lobby sh- scene is like pure action cinema you I thought know the lobby scenes in Reloaded no one oh my god he goes back into the Matrix that's the point isn't he yeah, yeah he goes one. back in to get to get Morpheus out alright okay it's underrated yeah, it's unbelievable yeah. uh, Star Wars as a franchise overrated by massive fucking overrated. fuck George and Lucas can't close. make a movie and it's not even it's not even a discussion actually it shouldn't even be on the list it just is mm. this is an interesting one this might divide people yeah Shutter Island underrated Think I th- fucking overrated do you reckon I think it's one of Scorsese's better movies for sure. I haven't seen it for a long time, though. I saw it in the cinema, and I thought I it was really good. I think if you take Mark Ruffalo out of that movie... He makes the movie. Barely a film. He's... I mean, look, Mark Ruffalo. You know what really wound me up once? There was these, like, fucking, like, agony aunt, although not like our agony aunt. Like, no, these, no, yeah, these, yeah. These, these stupid... I shouldn't say stupid women, because it makes that's not a great clip, but yeah. it is this woman. It's annoying, being like, I just want my hubby to look, like, average, like, you know, like a Mark Ruffalo. No, 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 no. He's a 10 out of 10. Mark Mark Ruffalo is one of the most beautiful, constructed people to have to have ever lived. Yeah. Do not... Yeah, I just found... Yeah, but people have warped senses of what's attractive. Just ridiculous. Go to Weather Spoons in Stoke Newington at four o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon. You'll see some ugly people. People think I'm occasionally quite good looking. You put me next to a proper movie star. Yeah, put me next to Mark Ruffalo. I look like a dog. Yeah, I look like a fucking weird I'm not even fucking in this. I'm not clean. Come on. Little goblin. Um, million, Million Dollar Baby. Never seen it. Uh, It's Clint Eastwood directed. It's... Now, obviously, I don't... It's difficult to like... Um, no, it's um, Jennifer Garner. What's her name? It's 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 it's. Oh shit, that's bad because she's really fucking good. She's brilliant. I know who she is, but she looks that sort of same sort. Of, she looks like Jennifer Garner. Yeah, but it's not Jennifer Garner. It's not. Who is it? Uh, we'll find out later. We'll find um, out. Later. We won't. But we'll, we, we'll look. look anyway, you guys under, can post underrated them, movie despite um, underrated despite, despite Clint Eastwood basically just being like a rock flag and eagle. Pretty bigoted dude. Is, he's he, a, is that liable? He's a cunt. I don't like him. But he's I like old. That Come part. at me, Clint. I'll, c- I'll kill you. The thing is, he wasn't that old when they made that film. He was just a bit of a prick. But he that was is old. A, he was ancient. He's that's about, a he's fucking good, That is a fucking underrated, like, I do know. I would, like, I would, fighting story. I'll just say, Clint Eastwood, his early work up until Unforgiven is genius. Yeah, I haven't seen any of his early work. Un- Unforgiven is incredible. We should watch it. Uh, Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. Underrated. Underrated. Really good underrated. movie. And it's underrated because of Snatch. Yeah. People think Snatch is lock, stock, too. And it isn't. Snatch is... It's a good movie. Great. A great yeah, movie. good movie. But it's not lock, stock. Because lock, stock no. changed cinema. Changed British cinema. Changed British, like, yeah. Sure. It, and, and that yeah. has got to the point where people just started, like, yeah, lock, stock, what a good movie. What a romp. No, 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 no. It's a great movie. They made it for, like, four pounds. It's ridiculous. Yeah, four movie. English pounds. Yeah, four English pounds. Master and Commander. 
Far Side of the World. Underrated. It's a 10 out of 10 movie. We've discussed it. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. I'd, I'd probably include it in my top 10. Of all yeah, I would I would make our Master Crown as one of the best movies ever made. It's, I'm it's, so upset it's there's the, no sequel. It's the best nautical movie ever made. Ever made. Yeah. Uh, it's, it is, it's it one is. of my favorite movies, genuinely. Me too. I think it's, it's a genuinely a modern day classic. It's a 10 out of 10 movie. I can't say nothing about yeah, it. Yeah, that's a 10. I'd uh, say. Other end spectrum, The Hot Top Time Machine. It's underrated. It is underrated, yeah. It is very, very funny. As a romp, as a film that just goes right, do are. I have to be the asshole to say this is some sort of hot tub time machine? <laughs> and they just have a romp in that movie. Think about think <sighs> about the pitch of that movie. And then yeah. think about what what's the title of the movie? Um, hot, hot Tub, tub time, time Machine. machine. Well, say, Brilliant. Say what you see, mate. No, but what would you actually want to be? Like, it is wicked. I, I yeah. think it's uh I think it's a very, very funny it's what no, don't go down the Barbie route again. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Um, a few more, a few more, a few more. Great, 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 uh, great. Fight Club. Overrated. Overrated. It's a great movie. But it's it's a great, great movie. But, but uh, people, idiots. Are, uh, f- idiots are fans of that movie, and I hate idiots. Me too. Last one's uh, The Notebook. It's overrated. I do love it's, it, it's, but it's, it is overrated. It is overrated, yeah, it but is. it's still really, really I good. I do love it, yeah. It's a beautiful movie. And Edward Scissorhands, last one. So I love that movie. I can see how it would appeal to you very well. Yeah. And I love that movie, but I don't know. Because it, because a lot of people won't know about it now, nowadays, will they? Nah, they will. Will they? Yeah, it's one of the most famous. It's, it's one of the most famous films ever made. Like, little kids still dress up as him. Like, Gen Do Z must be all over that. Gen yeah, Z. Yeah, yeah, Gen yeah. Z. No, Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Yeah, maybe. they went back and watch a back catalogue after yeah. the fucking. Stranger I do. Things. I do think it's. I don't know about that one. I, it's, I guess it's probably overrated. Then I think it's overrated. I don't think it's that good a movie. It's such a good movie. It's yeah. it's Johnny Depp at his best. I think his uh, performance in that movie is like so weird. I think Johnny Depp at his best is Pirates of the Caribbean. It's so you know. No, really no, 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 dude, dude, dude. The stuff that he did right before Pirates of the Caribbean, where he just picked indie movies and just did that for oh, fucking decades. Secret Window. Secret Window is great. Secret Man is great. All those movies. If you look at his, his, he never did a movie like Pirates of the Caribbean until Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I know. And he was in his forties. So for, from twenty like five to forty, he, his back catalogue is knock out. Do you reckon he was just like, God, I'm, I'm, I'm okay being like rich. It's time to get wealthy. Yeah, but then, but then, but then, and then when his he, first ones are here. <laughs> but then, but then, yeah, but then when when he was filming Pirates, they were like, he's, he's ruining it. Yeah, yeah, just the execs were like, what is he doing? It. And he was like, no, trust me. Just listen, shut up. Trust Put me, bro. Put your words back in your fucking mouth, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I'm yeah. relaxed. Because you don't know what the fuck you're doing, really, yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it's making just... a movie based on a theme and... park ride. <laughs> you can't. So there's no getting it wrong, bro. There's no getting it wrong. Like, there's the, just allow doing me, the idea. Yeah, allow me to work my magic. <laughs> you've you've given me Orlando Bloom to work yeah, with. Yeah, I'm going to have to really work around that. Exactly. It's a nightmare. Okay, that was good. Uh, well, I thought it was good. Good and section. That's the only thing that really matters. Look, I think as the showrunner, I think ten out of ten section, underrated section. Ah, hey. get him on the radio. Get him on the radio. Do you know how many emails do I have to send? Yeah. What do you want to talk about, man? Um, I have. I mean, we've got fifteen more minutes left, and I'll be honest. Go on. It's not enough because our agony aunt section this this week is massive. Massive. Well, crap. A lot of people want to know. Uh, yeah. that, well, a lot of people want us to solve their issues, Matt. I don't think anyone's coming to the studio after us. We can overrun if we want to. Well, okay, well, okay, well, let's, 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 let's see how far we get. Yeah. Lovely. First question, agony aunt section. Yeah. Um, again, let's save people, some lives. These people really are in the shit. They're coming to the bottom of the barrel. So. Yeah. And look, they're coming to us for advice, Matt. So, so. Exactly that. Yeah. First question, dear Matt and Harvey. Yeah. Like both of you, I'm in pretty good shape. I've been described as very strong looking before and have no real issue getting lean. The issue I have is on the sartorial side of things. Don't know what that means. I think like dressing, fashion. Cool. Cool. Uh, Everything I wear tends to look boxy on me. Mm. How do you both hide your muscular physiques? (laughs) I love a double breasted suit, but can't get away from the fact that I look like Superman in one. Any advice would be welcome. Friend of the show and colleague... (laughs) H. Cavill. <laughs> well, Henry, um, <sighs> I think you dress well, mate. Um, but if you were to want to, uh, to you know, to, to look like like Matt and I, 
don't be too. You must. You must shed some mass. You can't put on mass. Henners, can I call you Henners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, you know, incline walk, eight, eight, eight percent incline, mm. fifteen minutes. Yeah, increasing sort of mark, uh, and, yeah. and then you know, just do it fifteen minutes before every workout. Yeah, get that step count up, man. Get a step count up. Yeah, because you want to slim. Because yeah, if you look like you, well, you are, see, you, you yeah, see, come on. he is Superman, isn't he? So you know, why would you want? I mean, yeah. you just don't. I mean, not look, he's not. He's well, you know, look, bless him. Um, next question. I think. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. And they are that's questions. Good, yeah, I think. Uh, look, we've we've sorted sort them out. Um, friend of the show. Um, second question. <laughs> Dear Matt and Harvey. Hello. Um. I am having problems standing out from the crowd. I feel that I may come across too generic looking and it's hindering my acting career. Okay, another actor. Mm. Um, especially when it comes to auditions. Mm. What would you do in my situation? And that's cheers from Amrit. Um, do you want to go first? And then I'll hit him with standing I, out from the crowd and auditions. Standing out from the crowd and auditions. Yeah. Um, if you want my honest answer, yeah. what I do is sort of ch change the script quite a lot. So I add in uh, ums, ahs. I sometimes add in, like, depending on the room, like, mm. fuck or shit. Yeah. Um, uh, I went through a stage of touching my face a lot. Oh, I love a bit of that. I just touch my face a lot. Yeah, just a bit of Al Pacino, like, oh! Yeah, just a lot. Yeah. Uh, I figured if you try and do a bad impression of, let's say, Al Pacino. Bad impression. It, it won't come across as an impression. It just go through your filter. Yeah. Um, Didn't you say you did a, you did a, a drama school read as... Christopher Walken, yes, I did. like that sort of diction, but in I your own voice. I, I literally did Christopher Walken. Perfect. And um, no one really noticed and just held it as like a really transformative thing. Fantastic. That's it. No one ever gets transformed. Just fucking yeah. read the words. Uh, yeah. In terms of standing out, honestly, dude, yeah. don't try and stand up. Just be you, man. Just genuinely be you. And that's so you annoying will. to say it. You will being you. Do you know how many other shit munchers out there are trying to stand out and they'll just come, they'll just like, just, Trite. they'll just honestly, mm. just they'll just show themselves up, mate. Just be, yeah. just, and you know, just be, just, just, don't be overly polite. Just be nice to everybody. Just be quiet. Just, just nice. Be nice. Yeah. I um, know a guy who gets work just because he smiles every fucking room he walks into. That, yeah. That goes a mile. Yeah. That's mental. Yeah. I, I can't believe it, but yeah. my God, he gets every, he gets work because he smiles. So, next question. So, well, well I, uh, my advice here, oh, yeah. Just right. in, in terms of, you know, uh, standing out and, and sort of, Doing well in auditions. Cover yourself in tattoos. Sabotage, sabotage, other sabotage. People, other Take people. other people out. I'm not saying kill them, but no. uh, maiming so is they fine. Go, they go, where? Where's the audition? You say, oh, it's up the road, mate. Go to yeah. top of Poland Street, and turn left. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, Oxford yeah, Street. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you come out of the room and you're like, oh, do you know what? I think they're um, they're, 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 done, they're for the done for the day actually. Done yeah, done. yeah I think um, the one of the casting directors they had to shoot off actually. Are you Toby? Um, Andrew. I meant Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. They, you, they yeah. said that they hate you. They don't like you actually. You should probably fuck off. Fuck yeah. all the way off, actually. They're, they're, they're going to call your agent now, so uh, prep, be prepped for that. Um, yeah. Go on, and probably or get pretend to be get get to the get to the casting studio early yeah. and pretend to be the secretary at the thing and, and then then just turn, send them turn them all away. Send them out. Turn them all away. Sorry, we're closed today. Yeah. What? You're not a bakery. We're closed today. Exactly. 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 Today you want to limit today? We are closed. The competition. Um, question number three. Uh, I think we've solved that. He's, definitely. He's definitely laughing definitely. now. Definitely. Definitely. Um, Good luck on your career. Best of luck, mate. Any luck now? Yeah, get out, stay out my fucking way. Number one, <laughs> but best of luck otherwise. Um, question number three. I recently broke up with my boyfriend of four years, and I'm struggling to get over him. He left me for someone else, and I can't stop imagining them together having fun whilst us. Whilst I'm at home feeling like a slug. Well, they're not having fun. Please agony aren't me. I believe that's the correct terminology, and that's from Katie. Um, Katie. They're not having. Fun. They're not having fun. Like. <laughs> anyone, basically, mate, anyone who is, if you're seeing it on social media or just imagine, imagining's worse. If you're seeing it on social media, any pleb who's getting their phone out, because I am that pleb sometimes and yeah. have to film it, tr trust me, everyone, it's not fun. They're not having fun. It's impossible. Yeah. yeah. In this day and age. And also, and also, look, filming look, look, people having fuck off. Ge genuinely, and uh, no happy relationship has ever ended in a breakup. Ever. It's happened zero times. Oh, uh, yeah. There's no such thing as an unhappy divorce for that reason. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, so yeah. I know it feels like you're in the shit right now, but it's definitely a better situation than being in a relationship where one of you isn't happy. Either you were happy or, or you, were, you, you weren't happy or he wasn't happy. But you're in a better situation. The sky's the limit. You're going to be fine. Katie, that's a lovely, beautiful name as yeah, well. Yeah, 100% 100 of the people that got broken up with or, or left at a certain age or whatever... All of them have found like some fucking like wicked person to, yeah. to be with now. Like it's happened really recently in my life, a friend of mine, well, a friend of a friend. Yeah. 
and it was like, oh my fucking life. That is yeah, that's yeah. it. That's that's the world on the shelf. That's finished. No, no. No, you'll be fine. And Absolutely it, it, fucking not. It feels like the world's ended, and I've been there, and I'm pr- pr- pretty sure you've been there. But it it's just the closing cha- it's it's the close of one chapter of your life. And you're and you're gonna this is also here's a shocker. This isn't the last time you feel this. You're yeah, probably gonna feel this yeah. again at some point. But also, I know right now also, it feels like if they don't love, make them hate. Or my ex hates me. Do you know what you could do? You could I kill think, both of them. I don't know. You could you could have both of them killed. Oh, well, well, if we're blue skying it. Some people have taken that option. Do you know what I mean? It is an option. Let's not rule it out. Um, but look, Katie, just look, you, look you'll you be fine. Hang I with promise. us. Hang with us, mate. Can't, yeah, we've sorted that out as well. Do you know what I mean? You're welcome. Is you that, and you no, are welcome. No, you are welcome. No, you are welcome. <laughs> um, question number four. Um, dear Matt and Harvey, um, how do you both stay in such good shape as you get older? Mm. I am 34 years old and struggling. I haven't ever really looked after myself until the end of last year, and I feel like it's almost an insurmountable mountain. You have both talked about working out in the past and the pressure to look a certain way, so would love any guidance. Nice one, David. Um, there's two answers to that. Number one, never too late to start. Just, just keep cranking it out. Just don't compare yourself to anyone else if just just get getting healthy is good enough like any any anything is better than nothing do you know what i mean anything's yeah, better absolutely. than nothing um great technique that i heard once which was just go to the gym every day for one rep one rep yeah. put it down go home because then it gets it, and you won't see any change but what it gets into is that in, in is that showing routine up. showing up and showing up for yourself is everything in terms of like the, the the truth is, you, you, you would say 34? 34, You're yeah. very, very young. Yeah. Like, I, I'm so sick. Like, you probably maybe are American or you have other... No, David, Dave. Dave, David, he said. So maybe uh, maybe American. Americans think you're on the shelf at fucking 31. And I they know. have a lot of the internet. So they all be like, oh, you passed 30. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Like, just at, utter nonsense. Yeah, very young. Start with what you got, with where you are. Mm. And I would say... I also also think bare people have genetics, man. Yeah, well, that's it. I think my I think, genetics. I'm six foot three, and I have to try very very hard to gain weight. But I look muscular. I never look big, but I'll look mm. lean with very little ease. Right, my bad genetics, and I have bags under my eyes every day of yeah. my life. No matter how much I sleep, no matter how much makeup I put on, I have bags under my eyes. That is my genetic. So sure. everything comes in, and I have a like dodgy hair. Yeah, uh, it's all over the gaff. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. we, you know, we, we, everyone's flawed. Everyone, every, no, and also. Y- I don't think anyone's ever really happy with how they look. The the key is the mental the mental thing of getting over how how hard it is to to accept what you look like. And have you heard of like you're talking about genetics? Have you heard of the swimmer's body paradox? E- no. So the James Smith, you know the PT, he talks about yeah. it, and he's saying that people like let's say um, people are like, oh, I want to get in shape. I don't want to get too bulky. What do I want to look like? I want to look like a swimmer. Mm. So they start swimming. Mm. And then six months in, they're like, why don't I look like a swimmer? And the reason is swimmers don't oh, look yeah. the way they do they because they swim. Because of how they look. They become a swimmer because of the way they look. So in the true. same way that like the big like the, the big rugby players, the big dudes that play rugby at school, they find out that they're athletic and fast and they enjoy it and they get better at rugby. Whereas yeah. the people that like, yeah, it's like if you're a big dude, it's like, oh, yeah, you should play rugby. I mean, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like some people just... I got to play basketball. In the end, that's like, I play tennis because I was tall and I got quite yeah. good at that because I could play tennis. Yeah. Also, this is actually the most important thing. Yeah. I don't think anyone gives a shit what shape people are in. No, I genuinely... They don't, they don't, like, I actually... I, I sometimes post, like, a topless photo of myself to Instagram and immediately feel terrible about yeah. it immediately feel terrible about it uh for a number of reasons and when i see other people with their rigs out looking great i i i i i, I don't i really don't think anyone gives a shit how anyone no. looks You're sometimes i'll see I, like, i'll be like oh, good for them good for them yeah. sort of thing i, I not I, it depends how gratuitous it is i would i would i would exercise genuinely for how how you, how you feel not how you look but yeah that's, that's listen they want to get big they want to look good if you want to look fucking good, mate. If you really, 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 really then want it's to hard work, good, bro. Right? Then, then have, have realistic expectations. Give, give yourself like four months and just be like, I'm going for this. Yep. 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 yep I yep, mean, I'll just yep, get yep. tired, so I can't do it. I've got to yep. sleep too much. Yep. 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 Don't know if that was that helpful. Well, look, David, um, send us progress pictures looking very big, thick, and juicy. Um, yeah. Uh, we've solved that. Question number five. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, 
I'm a big fan of metal music and my girlfriend absolutely hates it. This would be Harvey. This, yeah. How can I change her mind? It's becoming an issue where I feel guilty and stupid for listening to it. What can I do? Don't feel guilty and stupid. That's from Juz, but she is right. Juz, Juzzy. G, G, J-U-S-Z-Y. How do you pronounce that? Don't know. Don't care. Just like, Juzzy. I can't read anyway. Yeah. Um, just just listen to metal music, mate. I mean, I don't, like, if she doesn't like it, she's never going to like it. You can try and take her to a metal gig. So true. And let, she'll be like, this is shit. <laughs> so true. Like, dude, like, it's a niche, it's a niche genre, dude. It, like, I'm sure there's, like, if you if it's that big an issue, get rid of her and get an, a new one that yeah. likes metal music. If it's that big an issue. But Go I'm to sure. a metal concert without her. Exactly. Find a new one. Don't, yeah, find a new one. Just I actually, the, the bit that made me sad there about that was him saying, I, I feel a bit, a bit, a bit silly or guilty or stupid. That okay. sucks, man. Never but, well, that. dude, Never also, that, also. You're like, that's, I don't believe in guilty pleasures. Yeah, pleasures. also, you dude, know. like, you, you know, you and I both know the metal community is a silly community. It's kind of a bit self-aware. So, like, Fuck it. Who cares? If you feel silly, then embrace it. I mean, it's 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 music, man. And and it's like it's a lot of people fucking love that music. I love metal music. So like yeah, you do. So don't feel guilty. It's I came stupid. here listening to From Now On from The Greatest Showman, a film I've never seen, but I listened to it for the entire train journey here, which is about forty minutes. I listened to it. It got to the end of the song and I put it on again. Did you imagine what was Walking. happening in the movie? No, no, I don't. I don't give a fuck about the movie. Good. Most movies about me. Yeah, yeah. All so movies. I put the song on. Me. Yeah. And I and I march around as if like from now on, yeah. Yeah, 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 whilst yeah. also practicing my Muhammad Ali impression, Did which you? I'll show you next week. Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. Look, I, I just Jizzy, think that one's solved. I reckon. Oh, yeah, yeah, you nailed that. Yeah, no. he must. He, he he won't need to call again. He won't. Yeah. Watch in. Watch us again though, and Do like yeah. and like and subscribe for, for fuck's, fuck's sake. sake. Like and subscribe. Um, question number six. Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ, a lot. Bloody okay. hell. Okay. okay. Well, look, I okay. did say it was okay. a long one. Okay. Okay. Um, dear lack of focus, guys, don't name us because. It helps, doesn't it? Don't lack of focus it. Okay. Um, I've been seeing someone, a new partner for about three months, and he's just moved to a new flat. I stayed at the new place for the first time a few days ago Ghosts. and woke in the middle of the night to find him sleeping with his eyes open. Yeah, run I, a mile. I've run never mile. noticed this, and I've definitely got up in the middle of the night when we've been together before. I don't want to bring it up in case it embarrasses him, but what do I do? I really like him, but now shit scared to stay overnight together in case I wake up and see him staring at me like yeah. that again. Could be a one-off. Is his new flat haunted and he's been possessed? Or I know his ex though. I, I know his ex through a friend and a friend and they're on good terms. Do I ask her from and on? Okay, look, I had an old best mate who I used to sleep in the same bed with when we got too smashed at uh, at, at uni, basically. We yeah. stayed over at people's houses and we stayed in the best room. His eyes were open. Uh, he, and he he, he he weren't a good guy. You mates with him anymore? I am not. Well, there well, is your answer. With the bloke. He won't would, answer the phone to me. I would, <laughs> I would, if I were you, um, Anon, um, always keep a blade on you. Oh, yeah. Always. That goes without saying. Always keep a blade on you. Wear and always be ready to use wear, it wear as well. <laughs> wear shoes in the house. Always wear shoes um, in the house. Realistic things, I would yep. get him an eye mask yep. if he, with some closed eyes on it. That's really good. Yeah. Or or like just stickers. Or just go the whole hog. <laughs> just stick. With yeah, just stick his how eyes much down. Is he a light sleeper? Yeah, could you just like... Could just, you just sort of close them? You know in movies where they see a dead person like... And, they, and that doesn't... <laughs> could, you, could you do that? <laughs> <laughs> could they just... <gasps> enough of that, please, Bad mate. Hala. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, or, um, yeah, always... Uh, or have, leave well, him. Or leave him. Have a, have a knife when you're good to go. Be ready to go with it. And your main the main thing to be aware of is it probably isn't ghosts. Uh, it's definitely, I say ghosts. probably to cover myself for liability. Um, we don't know. We uh, simply don't know. Definitely don't get involved with that ex because whilst you may think they're on good terms, <laughs> sh I don't know sexual orientation. I'm just, uh, they, they 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 will they, not yeah. they they um. They're gonna to want to be back in that picture. I oh, promise you. Always. I promise. Particularly you. if you know if he's a because you're probably a worldie. Yeah. He's uh, although obviously bit a, bit, a bit of a freak. Bit weird. Because the eye thing we're, seems like a little, trap. You seem to be. You seem like him. Weird little night goblin. <laughs> His eyes beaming at you. So yeah, have a uh, knife and be ready to use Got it. Gollum. Yeah, have a knife ready. Don't accept anything that he gives you drinks wise either. Or stones. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Or just you know just get rid of him. Um. Question number six. This is the Solved. last one. Solved. Solved. It. Solved. The last one. Go on. Um, hi, Matt and Harvey. Mm. I've recently lost quite a bit of weight. and Good for you. And I'm um, in need of a new wardrobe, but I don't know how to dress for my new size. But is I, this man or woman? I don't know. Oh, no, it's man. It's man. I feel like I look good, but 
my clothes let it down. You're both always looking sharp and any pointers would be appreciated. Gareth. Um, Zara. Yeah, man. Go to Zara. And I'll tell you why it's go to Zara. Cheap. Because shit munchers dress at Zara and they think everything like glossy and shiny is going to look really good. So yeah. all the good stuff at Zara, ain't no one's touching it. And it's on the rack within like two months of the new sale and it'll be cheap yeah. as chips. I buy everything. Everyone on my TikToks always asks me, where's the throne? Where's yeah, it from? Yeah, yeah. All my jackets, my shirt jackets are from there. Yeah. They're like my staples. Yeah. And then like a day's march is good for me because I'm tall. Nice. So I get my trousers from there. They're, they're, they're very good. Good. Some thrift shit. Do you know what I mean? Jump uh, yeah. t shirts. Get t shirts. Okay. I was talking to a friend about this recently. T shirts at the moment. Yeah. Crop that shit. You want that t shirt to be higher. finishing really? on your sort of like on your hip, on your like pel like pelvis, like the, the pubic bone. You want it to be hitting just on the belt line. Okay. No t shirts. We're coming in t shirt weather soonish. No t shirts going over the belt line. I see, well, that's a nightmare for me because I'm not today, but I normally tuck. Yeah, tuck's good. Tuck's fine, though. Isn't no, tuck, that's the whole yeah, point. Tuck gives the same illusion. Oh, but right. But you don't want anything don't want draping like a baggy, over. Yeah, yeah. You don't want like a yeah, dress yeah, yeah, shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Um, obviously, uh, like oh, just oversize the shit out of it. Um, yeah. I also feel that as well. Like if you've, I, I've been out of shape before and then got into shape, and I always used to hate when I was like 17. I was a bit like puppy fatty. And I always used to hate going to the changing rooms and the clothes on because the mirror just, I was just like, this is yeah, the shit. the mirror's terrible, yeah. But when you get in shape, honestly, just go and try some stuff on. Just just go for the day and try some uh, stuff on. Oh, okay. This, this is where... Because this... you're like, all oh, right, you'll be like surprised. I'm going to start resenting this show because we should be getting kept paid for this. I'm going to Abercrombie and Fitch. I'm serious. They have come back with an absolute bang. Have they? They fucked up because they were just abysmal as a company. They've realized the, the error of their ways and the shit they're making, for, especially for men at the moment. I can't good. speak for women. Mate, it's so good. Their staples are good. It's like... What we do? What, what did they get in trouble for? Was it noncing? Well, almost noncing. What was they it? sort of anti nonce they only, they only employed fucking mega fucking fit people. Oh. Uh, not just for their models. For it's everyone, yeah, yeah, and they didn't have like dudes in pants outside. Dude, they they just they. That was a bit them. rogue, but also you know, mad shit was happening in two thousand four. Yeah, mad. Terry Richardson shit. had a career in two thousand four. Mad shit was happening in, in the two thousands. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was, so it was naughty. I would say try out your high street staples, but this is another thing that that people do. I never do it, but now I've learned to do. Buy loads of shit, take it all home with you, and just fucking return it. Yeah, I, girls do that a lot. Like, no. like, that. Boy, so I, I've, I've never really and got into it. In your it. brain, you're like, this is so expensive doing this, but you're literally just going to return it, so it doesn't matter. So That's if you same. can afford to do that for that, that one weekend, do it, yeah, wear yeah. it around your gaff a little bit, see how it feels, and then also be brave. Don't let some of the shit munchers be like, yeah. oh, I don't like what you're wearing. Fuck off back to the, the herd then, if you yeah. don't like what I'm wearing, because just fuck off. Fuck off back to the herd. Yeah, so fuck off back to the herd. Um... I think that is solved. Oh yeah, he's and then laughing, and Gareth. Then yeah, yeah. Um, G man. Okay, that's um, that's the end of the agony aunt section. Long one this week. Well, we had we had long sections. My section was long. That section was very long. We had problems to solve. Yeah, I feel. Yeah. Um, and that brings us, I guess, sort of as a as a sort pretty, of natural close to the show. Pretty much the end of the show. Um, yeah. is is there anything you want to cap off the episode with, or? Um, not really. Um, I feel that was yeah, that was Great. that was that was pretty tight. Pretty solid. Um, um, do you want to do you want to sign it off? With anything? Um, yeah. If you have any other agony art questions or any agony in your life, then we will solve it. Obviously, oh, yeah. um, pretty quickly as well as we did rattle through that. Um, and a lot, and, and they, these people have been stewing with these questions. They've been like, "How am I going to solve this issue? It's a big issue in my life." Just simply write in. Just simply write in. Give it a little, and then consider and we'll it, solve done. it. Then consider it done. And, and we will done. read them all out. Yeah, I will read them all out. Um, not looking for advice on the actual show's structure itself. Can't stress that. Um, but do, listen, if you now listen to the whole thing on Spotify, for example, go to the fucking homepage. Go on. Yeah. I'm, I'm here with you now. Do it. Go to the homepage. It's easy. Go to our little profile. Yeah. See the five star bit. Rate. Rate it five stars. Five stars. Because I don't take, want anything. Take if, you, seconds. if you do four stars, I'll know it's you. Yeah. I know who you are. All right, just tell, tell them to fuck you. off. Yeah. yeah, just get fucked, really. <laughs>